Okay, now we are actually recording. And now I want to go over here where I can go to uh, Facebook. And I don't remember how I did that the last time. Hmm. I don't see anything there, Dickie, for me to go to, to Facebook. Last time I had a, a prompt down here to do that. Yeah, I thought there was. Well, there was last time. I don't remember. I mean, we just we were looking at it the other night, but I don't remember what it showed you. I don't either. Well, let's just record this time together, and we'll just put it back up on Facebook. And let's put it. Anyway, this is uh, Cecil Cockerham and my very best buds here, Robin Smith and Dickie Smith. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the new website that's available at www.iocc.us. On that website, you can become a member. There's a membership fee, but once you become a member, you have all the training that's within that website that I'm doing, and there's no extra charge for it. In fact, um, I'll be putting stuff every, up every month, this new information, and you get all that information absolutely free. Now, I just became certified in another educational entity uh, about three weeks ago. Some of that information, I will start making videos. So you get that at no extra cost. Also, I just signed up about five days ago for another uh, certification. And that's going to take me probably a year to get it because it's very entailed. And so, again, as I learn new things in that particular discipline, what I'll be able to do is share that with you as you are a member. Now, what's the membership cost? It's only $39 per year. So what does that mean? It means as you become a member, you can get a course that's being right now developed by Robin from her new book. It is finished. And that will be for $60 for that certification program. And the Institute of Council Certification will be recognizing her work as certification worthy. And that's what the, um, well, that's what the whole world, website really about is recognizing worthy curriculum for truly good sound education in many disciplines. It's not just biblically based. There'll be things that will be there that I'm really interested in is energy medicine, energy psychology, the quantum ideas. I know we have some people that do a lot of good work in the quantum area and we'll have some certification programs by those people as well as well as true spirituality and when i say true spirituality i'm talking about i'm not talking about religion i'm talking about true spirituality robin tell them a little bit what they can expect when they sign up at the institute here as a member they can now take your coursework your 12 modules for only sixty dollars and get a certification that they can actually place on the wall to tell people i've been certified in this work that i've taken from robin so let them get yes. a little overview of that yes it's called full redemption certification and work it's gonna it's uh my book is the uh, required reading and then we have some recommended reading different books that have ministered to me in the area of redemption um, there'll be a quiz after each course, after each module, and then an essay at the end, just to make sure, you know, that you understood all of it before you get certified. Um, once we understand what it means to be fully redeemed, we'll see different results in our lives. You know, there's a lot of people walking around today sick and depressed and in addiction and just living lives, not realizing they've been fully, completely redeemed right now, whole man redemption now. Um, 
living a life, a finished life is what we were designed to live. We were created to live a life of wholeness, a life of nothing missing, nothing broken, um, nothing lacking in any area of our lives. That's how we were designed to live. Our experience is to be an outpouring, not an outpouring from heaven, but an outpouring from the Christ life within us. In other words, the finished works of Christ flowing through us into manifestation, right? Into health, into abundance in every area. We'll talk about the faulty doctrine of original sin. Um, we're going to look at the law versus grace. Um, that we're not under the law, we're completely under grace, we're going to look at the Romans 7 man and find out that we are not the Romans 7 man, Paul was not talking about us, uh, we're going to look at the cause and effect of sin and death, um, what else are we going to look at, we're going to talk about being dead to sin and what that encompasses, uh, life in the new covenant, being free from sin and death, man was created as a whole being, right, full redemption, we're not waiting on future redemption or a future resurrection. So we're going to look at a lot of scriptures that look like if you just read them really quickly, they look like they're a future thing, but we're going to look at that we have it all now. We're going to talk about this finished work inside of us and what that language of finished looks like in our lives. We're going to talk about the realm of eternity, living in the eternal and in the physical right now in both places. Well, I'm ready to take the course. <laughs> and i read your book yes thank I, you. I love the name that you give it say the name of it again the coursework i love the name the coursework is called uh full redemption certification i love full redemption yeah you can't get more than full no but, you can't in fact i just left a few moments ago before i came here in my uh home office studio where i'm doing this and I had breakfast with my wife. She and I went to have our blood drawn. We're gonna have our, uh, uh, our meeting with our doctor on Tuesday. And we had to have our blood work done where we can be knowing what's wrong or right or whatever in the doctor's office. And so I said, let's go to have breakfast after we have our blood drawn. And I said, I think we can do that and be back by 11 o'clock. And so I'm full. <laughs> full redemption is if you're full, you don't want you're any full. more. That's right. That's where I am right now. I, I don't want any more food. I'm no. full. For full no. redemption is you can't get more redeemed than full. No. That's the you're emphasis I'm trying to make. Full. Um, and then that'll full. overflow in our lives, right? It'll overflow in the natural, you know? So not that doctors are bad and blood work is bad and all of those things. Those are great gifts that we have in the world. But, you know, we want to live a life fully redeemed, not needing any of those things, just where he is health in us and that health just overflows into our life. He's wholeness in us and that wholeness overflows. I think the overflow is what we re rejoice in because mm -hmm. if you have everything you already need for life and godliness, that's what Peter that's right. said at least, then yes. if we have everything, you can't get more than everything. That's right. I know that's when right. I was doing certification classes into the church for several years, and it has been several years since I've done that, I used to teach. Ephesians 1, 3 and 2 Peter 1, 3 and Ephesians 2, 10, all the time. We mm -hmm. have already been blessed in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing. And I told mm -hmm. them, that's a past tense verb. Yeah. A, fa a yeah. past tense verb is a finished word. Finished verb. Yeah. Finished word. If it's past tense, it means it's finished. You yeah. have already been blessed. So I'm always... And I'm not being critical to, for people because everybody does this. Would you bless me? We go around, mm -hmm. bless, bless, bless all the time. Like mm -hmm. it's something we got to go get. Mm -hmm. But according to that scripture alone, you should never, ever, ever ask for being blessed. You always say, okay. Father, I thank you that I've already been blessed today. It's That's a right. Thanksgiving prayer. It's not yeah. an asking prayer. See, people right. who do not understand past tense verbs is a finished tense work. Yes. It's that simple. Yes. I used to teach that 
spent many, many years out into the local church, and people would just yes. bristle up about that. But but we ask for blessings all the time at church. I say, quit. I know. Stop yes. it. Yes. It's not biblical. Yes. It's not yes. biblical. It's not biblical. And I'm excited about this course. I really am because I think if we can understand what it means to be fully redeemed, then we can minister that to other people. And I would assume people who are on your website and taking these courses, they're counseling people, they're talking to people, ministering to people, and being able to minister to them that they don't need anything. They are fully whole on the inside. Is Amazing. Important. Fully yeah. whole, redeemed. Mm -hmm. If you're redeemed, you can't be more redeemed than redeemed. That's right. <laughs> well, I'm a, yeah, I know I, I come across very simple. Just because I have a couple of doctorate degrees does not have to be very complicated. I'm really, really so That's simple. Right. If it says you have, you have. Yeah. I mean, it's all simple. To, I know we can't read things. We don't have any what I call thinking today, critical Thinking mm -hmm. is out the door. Yes. Critical. There would not have any critical, critical thinking in the health field. If you mm -hmm. look at it, it's just like it's broken. Re religious system, no critical thinking. It's broken. You go to the, uh, shall I say, government systems. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Lord. They're broken. Broken. You go to the education system. Oh, wow. It's more than broken. Mm -hmm. It's Don't more than you can say is so broken in the education realm. We, but nobody yeah. has any, what I call, critical thinking anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I, I may be off. And if I'm off, that's fine. You can be your own critical thinker of my critical thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all like that, don't you? Well, I, I do, have, yeah. I, I, um, Dickie's been dealing with me now for a month or two, and he can't figure me out yet. He's trying to. My wife has been, 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 she's been with me for a lifetime, it seems. I mean, wow. She's still trying to figure me out every day. <laughs> Who knows? But you've got to have some critical thinking. You really do. It's really important. I don't want people to read my book. Actually, the other day, Somebody posted something and I, they were reading my book, but they posted it in their own language. It wasn't parroting. It was, it had become life in them and they spoke it out in their language. And I love that. Wonderful. Well, Don't somebody got me. it. Somebody yes. got it. Yes. Then. Yes. It's amazing. We can read stuff, but do we really get it? That's right. No, we, yeah. we don't because we see it within the, our own lens of what we come from evangelical background. So we reading with the lens of an evangelical, which means you got to go do something to get it. Yeah. I know, because I dealt with the church for many, many years out there in the church itself, teaching certification mm -hmm. classes. I'd have 30, 40, sometimes as much as 65 people in those classes for six weeks, six Saturdays in a row from nine to five. That, that's mm -hmm. a day. Yeah. And back in those days, I was a little bit younger, shall I say. But if you could stand up that long and teach it that long, and I didn't have a teleprompter neither, okay? Well, I was teaching from the heart. Where okay? were you parking your horse wagon in wagon at? <laughs> <laughs> Dickie's getting me now. Dickie, Dickie knows me now. Dickie, you haven't said very much. Talk to the people who are going to be taking this coursework from the Institute what they can expect because you know more about the coursework and I know about the coursework since you put it all together. Well, the coursework will be um, ever changing and um, I got a feeling I'm going to be learning a lot more than I had planned on. <laughs> but uh, I'll be there. I'm going to do some help videos on how to navigate different things and all that. And we'll get those up. And then when Robin course gets started we'll do a navigation video for it and Good. welcome people into it and she'll and we'll just keep doing stuff like that and add links to as you guys come up with stuff we'll add links to new stuff and if my head doesn't explode we'll keep going from there well yeah i think what's happened here dickie 
you got yourself into more than you thought you were getting yourself into. Well, I think Dickie needs an assistant. <laughs> I'll be fine. It's just I got to keep Doc out. Of, he keeps going into the back end, looking under the hood of the car, <laughs> you know what's going on. Of at the I, I do. Of the car. He, he's trying to get uh -oh. me straight, Robin. He's trying to get me straight. And if he can, he's done more than my wife has done in about 40 something years. <laughs> well, I know your wife, so I wouldn't say yeah. I would be able to pull that one. <sighs> She is, she is a critical thinker, though. <laughs> anyway, I'm really looking forward to you as people watching this video now. Go over to the website. Just take a look. There's a lot of free information there, too. They can go by and take a look at it. There's some information at www.iocc.us. There it is. You get to see what's coming. Like I say, I have a lot of things in my, Dickie, I've got a lot of things in my head that I got to get on paper and then get into a video and then get it to you some way. And then yeah. you got to get it up. So we got a lot of things to do because I've got a lot of thoughts about a lot of different areas that I really need to cover that I think people need to know. Mm -hmm. In fact, I may even do just a whole series on just critical thinking, uh, the, all the areas, you know, government, health, <laughs> education, religion. I may be there till I'm ready to die by the time I finish all those areas. Yeah. Can you imagine thinking about critical thinking in all those four areas? That's a lot, that's a lot to cover. But there's so much misinformation and then bogus information on those all those four issues it's hard to know who is telling the truth yeah and you and i, I are probably going to have to renegotiate this adoption process <laughs> <in too. laughs> i love you dicky you're all right baby you're all right working the <laughs> i'm working the boy like a dog and feeding him like a bird <laughs> That's one of my favorite sayings I tell my father all the time. Feed me like a, work me like a dog and feed me like a bird. Young birds eat just a little bit. <laughs> anyway, I thank you for watching this. Last word from you, Robert, about your class work. Last word from you, Dickie, before we sign off. Oh, you caught me off guard. Uh, oh. I, I, I know. I said it. I, go buy the book. Sign All up right. for class, buy the book. We're going to really, I think you're going to love it. It's, it's when you can understand full redemption, it's going to manifest in your life and people are going to stop you and say, what are you doing that's different? Why do you look younger than you should, right? Because we are ageless and we find out that we're in the ageless one and we realize that that's part of our whole redemption. It's people are just going to stop you on the street and want to know what you're doing different. Your life's going to change. I love the thing that you have said over and over, whole redemption. When I was yeah. reading your essays, I, I would read those essays and you would talk about whole redemption. My spirit just kind of rose up and said, yes, that's true. It's whole yeah. redemption. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dickie, last word. Uh, I, there's a link up for Robin's book on there and we'll get, like I said, we'll put some help videos up and a help link probably ought to be added on there. But anyway, we hope to see you soon. Absolutely. Okay. Now I have a little bonus that I, you guys not even heard me say anything about the bonus. I got a bonus. <laughs> if people watch this, they go on and they sign up to be a member for only $39 for a year, get all that training in there. I am going to give them my book in a PDF. Very nice. I have my book in a PDF on my computer right here. Very nice. Um, you send me an email and I will send you back my book in a PDF that does not cost you anything. Now, what kind of deal can that be better than you get the free bit, book in a PDF just mm -hmm. by joining for $39? Well, some people say the book is worth $39 alone and you get everything. Sure. So, 
if you don't send me a, an email and say I want the book, you can't have the book. <laughs> That's just the truth. Really? We're running out of here. It's 40 minutes, so we're going to say goodbye because I don't know why we're getting a run out of here, but we're over <laughs> and out and bye. 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 See you.